general, it is a very warm to hot forecast. Tomorrow, it's actually going to be one of the cooler days only in the mid to upper 70s to near 80. So let's take a look at it. Oh, actually, I just saw a shot of uh, lightning off in the background. I don't know if you noticed that, but you can see a lightning strike right about in there, way off in the distance. The only lightning that is left again is down in North Carolina. Visibility is right now down in a few spots like Petersburg. I wouldn't doubt we have a little patchy fog in the morning, but look at radar and I pointed this out yesterday how right near the radar site when you have a ton of humidity, you get this sort of ball firing up. Well, that is again because we've turned it, you know, a little bit more sensitive. Now we'll take it off and show you where the actual rain is using just the radar from down in North Carolina. And basically that's right here. Southern areas of Hertford around Haroldsville down toward Coleraine near Evanstown Road back over toward Bethlehem. And that is all moving to the east. This is not a severe storm, but it is definitely one that has some lightning and thunder with it. Top of the broadcast, in case you missed it, 76 strikes in just half an hour span. Little bit of activity still here across the northern outer banks into southern areas of Currituck County. That is moving to the east. Temperatures out there right now, 64. Winds, though, still out of the south. As for the amounts of rain today, not too much, luckily. A storm that's raining that heavily could bring you a couple of inches if it were to sit over one spot. These were moving through pretty rapidly, so we ended up with a third, a half, somewhere around that of an inch of rain. Tonight then, rain still for parts of North Carolina the next couple of hours, but for most of us, partial clearing. And then we're going to see again a slight risk of a shower right in northeast North Carolina the next couple of hours. That moves out. Notice the wind direction coming in out of the west. And then by 9 o'clock in the morning, it's more northwest. Well, that's the front. The front has sagged down a little bit more to the south. We'll widen it and show you now there's the front. Notice the northerly winds and the southerly winds. So right here over eastern or northeastern North Carolina, that is the cold front. It gets a little bit down to the south, but not much. That's why temperatures tomorrow generally stay in the 70s. And then you can see that sort of stationary front well west of us. That lifts through then during the day on Saturday and puts us in the significant heat. High temperatures up near 90 degrees. A couple of spots where the winds off the water will be a little bit cooler, but most of us will be up close to 90 as that front tries to sag down a little bit on Sunday or Saturday night into Sunday. It'll bring a chance of a few showers very late in the day Saturday, and then it just sort of wavers around over us. That's why I think Sunday is going to be very warm again, but cooler near the coastline. So here is the action as it moved offshore. For tonight, 64 to 65, rain early for North Carolina, the rest of us some clearing. Tomorrow, 78, warmer to the south though, a little cooler to the north, increasing amounts of sunshine. And then the seven day outlook, 78, as we said tomorrow, 89 though on Saturday. Sunday, 87, about a 20% chance of a shower. And all of course, by Saturday night, as I mentioned, also you see that number 15% late Saturday. I'd put it up to about 30% Saturday evening into early overnight. And then next week, sort of typical 86 every, well, it's above mm -hmm. normal, but it sounds like a typical summer forecast. 25% chance of a shower every day. Finally warm weather. Yeah, it is. Thanks so much.